What's happening Royal fans and welcome back to the channel. For today's top juicy story, Prince Harry urged to drop impulsive attitude as Duke of Sussex braces for more backlash. Prince Harry's impulsive attitude will cost the Duke a scolding by the Queen after a public congressman has written to the British ambassador to the US, stop the Duke of Sussex and his wife Meghan Markle's interference in the US presidential election. The royal couple urged US citizens to vote in the upcoming November 3rd US elections, a move that was described as serious breach of diplomatic arrangements between the US and the UK royal family. Commenting on the incident, royal author Petty Jr. told Sky News, Prince Harry's decision to speak out with his wife Meghan Markle was not surprising. She said, Harry has always been impulsive and instinctive, and he's just done things without really thinking them through. William has always been incredibly measured, incredibly self-contained. He thinks everything through, possibly overthinks everything. But the result is he's much more cautious, and that is really what is needed at the moment as a member of the royal fam family. The letter was sent by Congressman Jason Smith, who represents Missouri 8th Congressional District in the House of Representatives. He argued, as both Harry and Meghan are still members of the British royal family, their political comments amount to an inappropriate act of domestic interference by the UK. In September, Harry urged Americans to reject hate speech, misinformation and online negativity during the upcoming election. Meghan, meanwhile, branded November's poll the most important election of our lifetime and urged Americans to register to vote. Mr. Smith described Meghan's political views as thinly disguised and widely reported. He singled out Harry's criticism of hate speech and Meghan's comment that the vote is the most important election of our lifetime, as examples of interference. The Duke and Duchess stepped down as working royals earlier this year, but they still remain members of the royal family. They are still entitled to use the HRH prefix, though both have agreed not to. There you have it guys, that's all the facts. Take them. Think about them and leave a comment. What are your thoughts? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you tomorrow with more royal news. Goodbye for now.